is January 27th and oh I just realized it's upside down day today and I have a whole bunch of um, tools because today's uh, prompt is culinary tools so I am not sure how we're going to do this I mean I did do an upside down image yesterday so but probably should be doing these upside down I don't have photos though of them upside down so um, but I mean we could draw them upside down not me put my body upside down but bonjour bonjour maybe Alexandra has a really good idea of how we can do this um, from a week of pastel drawing and uh, crayons I am aching in my hands so I'm going to be painting today um, doing some negative space some color blocking and I'm going to use these Karen Dash <clears throat> it is upside down Friday but I'm like how are we going to do upside down Friday hi Amy hi Janice so I have some I love all these um, shapes and everything so I'd like to do a full page of studies um, I have a uh, what is this a culinary sieve I have a, a grater which is for tomatoes and cucumbers is it just takes away the very very finest um, slither of a fruit or a vegetable um, I have a bottle opener I have a dirty ice cream scoop that's my daughter who hasn't cleaned that um, hang on I'm gonna plug my phone in so I don't lose you guys even though it's fully charged but it's one of those things that will uh, drain really quickly um, hi Martina Alexandra says no idea other than using the pictures in the gallery yeah I'm gonna use these but you guys can use the other ones I'm probably gonna just move them around and um, maybe stand them up or and then I have an egg slicer which is very important if you are Scandinavian or German or Nordic from the Nordic um, uh, countries that do open sandwiches because that's quite normal for that I have a uh, can opener I have a cheese knife I have um, some, um, what do they call, not pincers, pliers, no, um, tongs, that's it. <laughs> Meryl says, I couldn't find you. Why couldn't you find me? I, I wasn't, I was one or two minutes late, Meryl, that's probably why. You were probably very on time. Alexandra says, you have so many cool tools, could you make a great pattern with them all? I could, but I don't think I'm going to, I'm just going to study them. <laughs> You could though. Um, I have this is um, a cocktail mixer where you basically catch the ice or whatever it is. I have a corkscrew, and this is my favorite tool. I don't know if you guys have seen these. These are um, for soft boiled eggs. My mom gave it to me. It's a Danish one. It's from Denmark, but you can get them from um, other places now. They are around. And basically it's a it's a weighted ball I think I've showed you this before it's a weighted ball or I've shown you on my stories that basically slides down and you put this on the egg and you go whoop and then it gives you the perfect cut all the way around the top of your egg and you can have your soft boiled eggs in the morning and it's perfect you don't have to break it you don't have to do anything um you could do the like the good ship and look at them right side up but draw them upside down oh that's that's a good one Janice we could do that uh, Jennifer says good morning good morning Jen Alexandra says Janice I cannot do that for the life of me we could try doing that I think that's a really good idea what will I use um, as I said I my hands are a little bit in pain so I'm I don't want anything that I'm gripping so I'm probably going to use big brushes or brushes. Um, so 
just paint, I think, today. That's what I'm going to use. Uh, yes. Alexandra said, I put a picture of my favorite tool in the gallery, a cheese grater that it looks like a toy truck. I saw that. It looks so cool. Um, I'm going to get through these and then if I've gotten through these and I want to do other things, then I will do that. I may also grab a couple of ink, um, maybe some black ink and do a page of just black ink first. And we could do that, couldn't we? Or maybe we'll just do colorful ones. I like your idea, Janice, though, like they did portraits upside down. We could do objects upside down. Did they do objects upside down too? Or was it just portraits? I can't remember. But I think that's a great idea. Okay, I'm going to move my paints over this way. Yes, and if you are a Patreon, there are lots of images of culinary tools in there if you want to use those. Um, I'm going to go through these first because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven objects that I can um, go through. And like I said, I'm going to use paint, I'm going to use gouache, so 11, um, if we do, oh, should we do three minutes each object and then if I have time I'll open up the padlet. All right. I'm good with three minutes. You guys good with three minutes? It's like the, it's the three minute morning. Always three minutes. Um, it was just selfies. We looked in the mirror. Okay, so maybe maybe I do that. And I'm gonna start with this one, which is my egg, soft egg, or um, yeah, soft boiled egg opener. So good. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Actually, it was made in Germany. This one is made in Germany by, what is that? Uh, if anyone is German here. T-A-E, is that T-A-E-F? Two, and that's German. I can't read the top, my eyes are not that good. All right. Yeah, I'm going to do line work, but I'm going to do um, with colors. So I'm going to do one each different color and just add them onto the page and create a page of full of color. Let's get started. Your three minutes starts now. I have my water and I need a paintbrush. Um, I said I was going to do a, quite a big paintbrush. I'll start over here. Okay, so we I'm doing it upside down. It is Upside Down Friday. If you are joining us with the Upside Down Friday, either put your tools upright and draw them upside down because I don't have images right here in front of me or grab the images from the Patreon group and do those upside down. Okay, three minutes is going to be way too long. If I'm going to do like line drawing, we may have to adjust that. What do you think? Are we going to do minute ones? Do you want to do minute ones? I guess I could do This one's probably one of the more simple ones. There are others that are a little bit longer. I could draw a right side up page and an upside down page. I could do that. Why don't I do that? Right side up and upside down. And basically do what you want in the mornings. I just uh, 
we decided that we were going to do upside down Fridays, but I'm going to do right side up and upside down. Can I show my tools? Yes, I can show my tools. I didn't take pictures of them because I just was a little bit, I don't know. I didn't have time to take pictures of them. I should have taken pictures and put them in my, in the, um, in the page, in the Padlet page. I'm going to do this one next. This is one of my favorite tools. Um, I use it to take eggs out of the water before I eat them, the soft boiled ones. I also use it for raviolis and I use it for taking um, um, vegetables out of the water. It's great. It's a great tool. I love it. It's better than a sieve because the sieve, so many things get caught in it but this one's really good i like it all right second one i think we do um i think a minute is long enough <laughs> everyone's probably like no not a minute okay can we do two minutes then because three minutes was way too long let's do two minutes okay two minutes starts now Okay, so I'm going to do this one upside down over here. I need some space. Oh, and this goes all the way around. It's very cool. I didn't realize that it's the coil that goes all the way around. And that's how it's made. All the way. And then it has these cross. Cross wires that go across like this and across like this. And that's it. I still have a minute so I can do it right side up too. I kind of like my upside down one a little bit better than the right side up. 14 seconds left if you're doing this one. It's my egg slicer. Next is my egg slicer. Ready? And your time starts now. Oh, are we doing? Yeah, we'll do two minutes for this one again. Two minutes. And I've got to do it upside down. I'm going to run out of space. I'm going to have to just go over my images. That's fine. Okay, upside down. I got to think. This is where, like, honestly, like, this is a little bit mind boggling sometimes. How do I do it upside down? How do I reverse the image? Should have done that in grey, maybe, the outside. Okay, I'm going to do it right side up as well. It, they do, they kind of take a minute, just a minute to do. So, um, I'm giving you more time by doing mine 
um, right side up as well. But if you are just doing yours upside down, that's fine as well. This isn't a very good brush for gouache, but I kind of like the scratchiness of it. I don't mind it. Oh, I didn't put those little, the very, very fine, it's like cheese cutter wire. All right, I'm gonna change my brush size because it's too big for this. And I also want to get one which has a better point. I'll get the Karen Dash one that was actually came with this. All right, so let's do um, a, um, a grater or a peeler. It's not a grater, peeler. And your time starts now. I'm gonna give you two minutes again. Oh no, I don't, I want a green. Let's do a green for this one. And I've gotta think upside down. you guys have a favorite I know that Alexandra said her favorite grater she posted it in the in the chat or not in the chat in the patreon meet images I do apologize for not posting these I may if I get time post them today um, so I did post quite a lot. Oh no, I put gouache in my coffee. Um, I did post a couple of Patreon. I don't know if you saw, we're having a party this weekend on Saturday, um, at 10 AM Eastern. I'm sorry if you were the other one. Not many people answer my polls, but if you were the other one who said a different time, I apologize, but the 10 a.m. one. Um, and what was I gonna say about it? Oh yeah, come all dressed up. We're gonna be drawing each other. We haven't done this for a whole year, so it'll be nice to draw each other. And if you um, also saw, I posted that Jennifer C is going to be doing a demo on Monday instead of Sunday to have a meet because she's not around on a Sunday. We are going to have a Monday meet. If you miss it, don't worry. We are going to film it, but it's the Japanese um, stab binding. I know some of you already know it, but we, I am, I am going to do make a journal for family February because February is coming up really quickly. And I'm going to be making a journal out of papers that I have lying around or a sketchbook, but with this technique. So I'm trying to use papers that um, I don't really use anymore or sketches, old sketches. So I want to go over those, um, probably doing some paintings and in family February on top of those. So that's what we're going to be doing on Monday and that's at 1.30 <clears throat> p.m. Eastern. All right, I'm doing the cheese knife. The cheese knife is going to get started. The cheese knife I think only needs one minute. So pick a tool that you only need one minute and your time starts now. Really, I think I take more time getting the paint on my paintbrush than I do actually drawing. All right, I need to do this upside down. I keep, I keep having to remind myself because if not, I would just draw it how I see it. It's a very good exercise actually, because you're, you're thinking, how is it? And then I can draw it right side up. Mm. 
There we go. Um, <laughs> Alexandra, she says, am I the only one giggling at Meryl's request? <laughs> Can you show your tools? I don't call anything my tools other than the things that I work with. Alexandra, it must be a French thing. <laughs> All right, but I do understand where you're coming from. A bottle opener. Um, let's do two minutes for this one. This one is gonna be a little bit difficult, I'm sure, for my brain to actually get around. So, uh, two minutes starts now. Let's do this in the dark blue. I'm gonna put it right over here. This paintbrush is much better, but I actually quite like the the roughness of the other one. I got that wrong. Good morning, Maria. Um, Alexandra says there is a repetition I have to. Oh, a reputation, not a repetition. A reputation I have to live up to after all. Uh huh. I see. Being French, or or um, and that's how the French feel and think. Maybe. I think it's a language thing too, right? I think the translation from maybe English to French. French is your first language, Alexandra. I know you can't probably talk while you're drawing. And time is up. Reminds me of a crown, that one. All right, and the tongs. I'm going to do the tongs. Um, I guess upside down, right side up, back to front, whatever you want to do them. Um, Alexandra says, your tools almost have a long handle, much longer than the French tools. I'm accustomed to and I'm not trying to be funny. I think maybe I'm putting them to be longer. I think they're a little bit longer. I don't know. They do look longer, don't they? They're very like, whoop. All right, um, color for the tongs. I think I will go brown with this one and your minute. You, We only need a minute for this one. Starts now. I mean, of course you can do these however you want to do them if you have a tool a culinary tool that is a little bit more complex than just lengthen your time to how much you need whoops that's wrong this one I really honestly I'm just gonna do it like this just gonna do it very simple one side I'm doing right side up and one side I'm doing upside down because it's upside down Friday I need one of those like do 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 like you know those um <laughs> the rave machine um I I'm not very good at beatboxing so I can't do it <laughs> but you know what I mean you know on the radio where they like um, they um, announce something and then they have that horn that goes off. That's what I need here. 
Although then somebody would complain on Instagram saying that I've taken their sound or something like that. Okay, I'm going to do this one from the side like this. A little bit more complicated. I'm going to give myself three minutes for this one, maybe. Yes, three minutes. Yes, or like at a soccer match, you're right. All right, your three minutes starts now. Okay, upside down, right side up, upside down. Um, ooh, this is not easy. I, I know it's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be good for your brain to think of the opposite way of drawing this. Um, if you are a member of Tom Froze's Patreon, he has his meet today at 12 Eastern or 9 a.m. P uh, Pacific time, Pacific Standard Time, PST. Um, so don't miss that. What else is happening today? I don't think there's anything else happening today, is there? Okay, I'm going to do it right side up quickly. I've got one minute left. Or a minute, actually, and 50 seconds. And I am going to be sending out a coupon for all patreons and for substack subscribers for my new set of virtual art retreat classes which are starting on the i think the 20th of february and uh, we are going to croatia to israel to england and to ireland on this group of lessons um and we do a lot of um we do everything from portraiture to looking at their traditions to food i have a lot of exciting exercises up my sleeve for this one um we always churn out a whole bunch of beautiful imagery so i'm excited I know that some of you are in my classes right now and probably are like, oh my God, another class, but it's a good one. So um, don't miss it. Anyway, that is coming up, but there will be a $10 off coupon and you basically get um, three, 12 two hour sessions. Um, if you get the uh, coupon, it'll, it's $80 for those for those hours basically so 24 hours for 80 dollars that's not bad um and it's great because you know we get to travel together virtually um alexandra says oh no Nope, she didn't say anything else. <laughs> I thought you had said something else. Okay, I need some red on here and I'm going to look at the ice cream scoop and try and do this upside down and I will do this for three minutes as well and your three minutes starts now. All right, I'm gonna get some red on here. I got some orange already. And it needs to be upside down. So I'm going to start actually with the circle. And I'm almost out of tools. I think I have the corkscrew and the ice catcher. And that's it. So for me, it's easier if I look at the main shape um, and see where something goes, like in relation to that main shape. So. I know that um, this is actually a little bit more complicated, but 
I'm trying. Oh, that, see, that goes around the other side. This goes down like this. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. And then there's a hole there. All right, now I'm going to draw it right side up. So much easier right set up. Your brain really doesn't have to think. I think it's good exercise to do both as well because it shows you that um, you can draw quite easily or your observational skills are actually quite good if you don't have to challenge yourself in a crazy way like drawing it upside down like Janice suggested. Right, that one is done. You still have a minute, so you can keep drawing for a minute. I have this one and this one left, and that's it. And then we still have time, so I can open the the padlet and see what else is on there. I'm loving my page, actually. I really like the all the different um, varieties of shape and line on here. You know what? It's funny because I do relate art a lot to cooking and um like in a painting you need all the ingredients to make it really like look good taste good just like in i think i taught i we've spoken about this i'm not sure in my classes or in my lives but um so it's very similar you need all the layers to create something really interesting and that's what makes you I guess a more practiced artist is that you use all the things that you have learnt and add them to your image. And you don't have to do everything, right? You don't have to add everything, but you'll know what you enjoy in your pieces and that's what you should be focusing on or using. All right, the corkscrew. Let's get this done. I'm going to do the corkscrew in silver, in silver, in, um, in uh, gray. And I'm gonna give you two minutes for this one. Two minutes starts now. Okay, upside down. Upside down of the corkscrew isn't too difficult, I don't think. And then I'll do right side up as well. I almost filled it in and then I'm like, no, I'm not filling these in. Don't fill them in. It's just supposed to be line. That was much easier right side up, that's for sure. What is everybody drawing with? It is a little bit slow, the connection. I think you guys are about um, maybe like 10 seconds or 13 seconds behind me. So I can have a sip of coffee and wait until you guys are ready. I wish there was a way of it being really, really like true to time, but it's not. But it's almost like I'm gaining time, so that's kind of cool. Okay, next is this tool. It's the ice catcher uh, drink maker. It only gets pulled out once or twice a year, um, but I, I really like it. It reminds me of a little face, doesn't it? Or a bear. Okay, I'm going to do this one in, I've done pink. Let's see what other colors I haven't done. I've done yellow. I could do a different blue or I could do black. Uh, or let's try the okra. I have like a really nice okra color here. So I'm going to do that. 
All right, your three minutes. I'm going to do three minutes on this one because it's quite um, complex. And your three minutes starts now. Um, Meryl's using old Faber Castell markers. Ooh, I don't know if I have ever used a Faber Castell marker. This goes all the way around. Not sure if this was the right color for this. Probably would have been good to do this one in black, maybe. Okay, it does really look like a bear though, especially with the color that I chose. All right, I'm gonna do this one over here as well. Easier right side up. Meryl says, I got them really cheap a few years ago. She's talking about her Faber-Castell markers. Janice says, I'm doing the line sketches with Neocolor. Lovely. All right, I think that's all of my, of my pieces. Let's open the Padlet. And I apologize if I didn't open the Padlet first, but I can see what is on here. And we can check out. Alexandra's Greater, for example. May take a little bit of time to load. That was your three minutes was up. Oh, oops, was up. It's very touchy sometimes, the Padlet. Yeah, it needs time to load. All right, so what did you guys all draw? It is just coming up now. It is coming up now. And and also, if you're a Patreon, um, I have added the February 2023 Padlet page for Family February. If you want to be drawing from that. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness, so many wonderful tools. I should have come here. I swear they weren't here the other day. Mm -hmm. It's okay, we have some time. We have at least three minutes. Oh, is this it, Alessandra? I'm going to go to your truck. Is this the truck? <laughs> is this the cheese, the cheese grater? It does kind of look like a truck. Uh, we can do this one upside down. So because I I have um, my image here, I'm gonna turn it this way. And maybe I'll do all these images that we see here. Let's do them for one minute each. I'm just gonna go over in black, um, I think this time, over the top. And yeah, maybe I'll get a, a ink out. Get 
black ink out and let's do oops that's not good I really don't want ink on my on my tools here culinary tools okay all right so we're gonna do uh, one minutes of as many as we can from the padlet are we ready and your minute starts now so I think it was probably more challenging to have the tools in front of you and do it upside down because this I'm just drawing what I see which is fantastic and um, well it does give you the the benefit of not overthinking and worrying that it's wrong or not drawn correctly so I mean it is upside down Friday and drawing like this if you haven't drawn upside down before try it because it is fantastic All right, your minute is up. I'm gonna go back this way and then we'll go back the other way. Maybe just pick one of these for your minute draws and your minute starts now. I like the brush, but it doesn't look like it's upside down. Actually, well, I'm gonna just draw it like this because that's how it's on here. And I turned my my um, iPad upside down, so the image is upside down compared to what it was placed in the first place as. I don't want to fill in because I want to see the other things underneath. Okay, and your next minute starts now. It's an espresso cup. Just do the line drawing. I mean, we could do these for 30 seconds, couldn't we? Maybe I can get the name in. Mel. Melita. Ooh, the E is difficult. There we go. Oh, and I should probably do this like that. And the little details here. Brava, bravissima. Okay, let's go to the next one. And thank you everybody for putting your images on here. They're actually fantastic. And I'm not sure why I didn't come here first. Um, okay, so let's choose one of these and your minute starts now. I'm going to do the, um, what's it called, the citrus, the citrus juicer, which is probably similar one way and another way. can really get some great shapes um, looking at these objects. Let's go to the next page. Uh, that's quite a fantastic corkscrew. I'm going to try and do that one. And your time starts now. One minute. 
I need to put it here, but I think my, my, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a smaller one. My page is a little bit wet. This is like the multi-tool of entertaining. It has a little knife, it has the corkscrew, it has the bottle opener. All right. Yeah, Alexander says, the tool is composed of three different parts and it's rather complex, but you're so right. Upside down is not so bad. It's true. All right, let's do this one. I haven't done a spatula or as a whisk. Maybe I'll do the whisk. One minute starts now. I was going to bring my whisk up, but I didn't. I'm going to start with these bits here. I'm going to come in down here. And I saw that Nick posted some interesting ones. I think, are these all from Eva? They could be. I still have half a minute. So I'm going to do the mashed potato potato um, masher. Oops. I guess I'm not sure if that is upside down or right side up. And we have some. Are you ready for the next ones? I'm going to have to start going over it with white or something because my lines are just going everywhere. Um, actually, I'm not going to do that one. I want to I want to see if there's any other. I've done a bottle opener. We've done a kind of great, so let me just have a look. I'm going to go back here. Uh, uh, these are the ones that I wanted to have a look at. Oh, this one's a great one too. Louise's um, mixer, a hand mixer. Wow, that's a cool tool. All right, let's do this one. Um, and your minute starts now. Where am I going to fit it? Hmm. I guess I can fit it just here somewhere. Okay, did kind of mess up the page a little bit. And then we have Nick's really cool tools that have been made into um, succulent, uh, succulent stands. That's so cool. Look at that. All right, I'm going to do one of these and your minute starts now. And then I think we are almost at the end. These are very, very cool. I'm going to do this one here. This is a cool culinary tool being used for something a little bit different. One 
wonder if there are from Holland there's a picture of a windmill on here okay well I have totally made my page completely messy I hope you guys had a good morning of sketching upside down that was that was a fun and very relaxing no need to stress and uh, I mean these pages are quite uh, a quite big mishmash of everything but they're still fun and um, you can, I think you can get a lot out of observational drawing so thank you so much for joining me this morning I am gonna leave five minutes early but just reminders for this weekend we have um, if you're a part of Tom Fraser's patreon which I am uh, that is today at 12 Eastern. Tomorrow we have our Patreon party at 10 a.m. Eastern. And if you are doing my six week multimedia course, we have landscapes in pastels tomorrow at, I mean, yeah, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. Sunday is, um, we only have, if you are part of the um, Paint Your Heart and Soul, if you bought it through me and um, we are going to be going over the, the lesson together and that's at 12.45 um, Eastern. And Monday, like I said, Jen C is coming from um, LA and she's going to be teaching us on our Patreon meet in a Patreon meet. So it is recorded at 1.30 Eastern if you want to come and learn how to do Japanese book binding, the stabbing or Japanese stabbing book. <laughs> it sounds a little bit vicious, doesn't it? The stabbing Japanese book binding way of creating a sketchbook. So um, I posted that in Patreon. Check it out. Um, you are welcome, Alexandra. If I don't see you this weekend, have a really good weekend. And I will be back on Monday. Monday's prompts. I can tell you what we are doing Monday. Uh, uh, by the way, Sunday is fridge contents. You're on your own for that one. And Monday is cookbook. So post your favorite cookbook. Maybe we can uh, do some studies and paint some mock mock-up cookbooks. Or maybe we can do... Uh, an imaginary, imaginary cookbook that you um, haven't seen out there and you would think would be a really good idea for a cookbook. Anyway, have a good weekend. I will see probably a lot of you this weekend and today. Um, it, we're supposed to get more snow, so lots more shoveling. Take care, everybody. Bye.